And despite the warm temperatures, a silent killer associated with the fall and winter months has made a dangerous comeback. Yeah, in fact, just in the last few last week, carbon monoxide poisoning has killed a Missouri family of three and even forced a St. Louis Metro apartment building to evacuate. Our Melanie Johnson live in Clayton tonight with more Melanie. Sammy Court, we're live at the 23-story high-rise that was evacuated because of a carbon monoxide leak. But we do know tonight that the building was not required to install detectors because the state does not require them to. But one resident's purchase of one of these is being credited with saving lives. It can kill you while you're sleeping and you don't really always know that it's happening. Tuesday, those living inside Clayton on the park at Bonham and Brentwood had a brush with the silent killer carbon monoxide. Tenants forced out of their condos just after dawn, including Gene Nimsick's client. He also said he was feeling uh, poorly before that, and several people he talked to in the building had also been feeling bad, and nobody really knew why. Both Nimsick and her friend Carrie Wolrab work nearby. Wow, I, how would that happen here? So, yeah, I was a little bit shocked by that. The difference between this call and what our standard call would be is that this call was 23 residences stacked on top of each other. The Clayton Fire Department says a resident store bought carbon monoxide detector was the reason they found out carbon monoxide was leaking from the roof's heating system into the 30,000 square foot high rise. The CO detector that alerted us to the call was not part of the integrated building system. It was just a $25 uh, CO detector that she bought at Home Depot. On Monday, three people died at this home in Kansas City from carbon monoxide poisoning. Investigators say they died in their sleep due to a running generator. First Alert 4 learned there is no state law requiring buildings to equip units with carbon monoxide detectors. There should be a carbon monoxide detector law mandatory. But in St. Louis City, residential structures are required to have CO2 alarms. As CO2 calls become more common this time of year, they are tools that could save lives. The silent killer, it's, it's non-visible, you can't smell it, um, and it's, it's highly toxic. We spoke to several residents of this condominium that did not want to go on camera, but they did say they bought carbon monoxide detectors, even though the apartment complex did not provide them with one. We tried to ask the property manager, do they plan to install detectors despite this carbon monoxide leak? Instead, we were kicked off the property. But St. Louis City Fire Department wants you to know tonight they will install carbon monoxide detectors in your home or apartment for free. We're live in Clayton. Melanie Johnson, First Alert 4. Important, important reminder for all of us. All right, Melanie, thank you.